A novena of prayer for our nation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, keep our nation in your care. For the majesty and beauty of America, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For the great resources of this country, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For those who funded this nation for freedom, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For the beauty of our faith and for religious liberty, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For truth, justice, and peace for all, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For all who govern us and all in public office, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For our president and those of the executive branch, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For the senators and the representatives of those in the legislative branch, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For judges and all those who serve in the judicial branch, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For all state and local leaders in government, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For all the business and meaningful work for all, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For the men and women of our military, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For the blessings of our freedoms, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For a respect and reverence for life, from conception to natural death, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For life, health, and opportunity for all, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For preservation of the sanctity of marriage between one man and one woman, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For our children, their education, and their future, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For protection for families, Lord, keep our nation in your care. For restoration of Christian values and morals, Lord, keep our nation in your care. Let us pray. Lord God, we seek to better understand the issues and concerns that confront our nation and how the gospel compels us to respond as faithful citizens. We ask for eyes that are free from blindness so that we might see each other as brothers and sisters, one and equal in dignity, especially those who are victims of abuse and violence, deceit and poverty. We ask for ears that we will hear the cries of children unborn and those abandoned, men and women oppressed because of race or creed, religion or gender. We ask for minds and hearts that are open for hearing the voice of leaders who will bring us closer to your kingdom. We pray for our nation's leaders that they may hear your word, live your love, and keep in the ways of your truth, following the steps of Jesus and his apostles, guiding us to your kingdom of justice and peace. We ask for your divine mercy, divine providence, graces, and blessings to be showered upon our country, our parishes, our bishops and priests, our families, our marriages, and our children. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, and through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.